painful for everybody and it really creates such distrust in government. I mean, for example, all these resignations suddenly. It strikes me that this is all about political personal ambition. These, these part of the Tory party don't like Rishi Sunak. They like Boris. It's pathetic and it insults our intelligence, quite frankly. We can see the, 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 the vain, glorious attitude of these people. You know, it's, it's, uh, they should not be in government. They're there for the wrong reasons. Okay. Thank Turn you very right much on for your call. Road. Um, it's, it's, suddenly, I can tell you that uh, the switchboard has lit up. Um, this is uh, coming through on Twitter. Any Prime Minister who's had to resign in dishonour, no matter what party, should not be allowed to name any honours. Red light camera Another ahead. one here. Johnson's appointments to the in House of Lords are his revenge on Sunak, as there time would be by-elections. Well, even road. as we come on air, we are hearing that there will be a third by-election. Because Nigel Adams, who had said he was going to stand down at the next election, has said he is now standing down by tweet with immediate effect. Kevin Foster is our next caller, calling us from Lancashire. Here in Lancashire. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Turn Hi. left on a 23. So, I mean, you heard uh, Grace there. Uh, what do you make of all of this and the well, resultant chaos that the Conservative Party seems to be in at the moment? Well, it's, it's awful shame to see Boris go. Um, Turn right on a 3. It converted me a lifelong Labour voter to vote Conservative for the first ever time because uh, he, he restored the democratic process to this country because we had a parliament that was that was determined to stop Brexit and a Labour party that, that was fully behind that and um, he, he managed to uh, well basically what was a second referendum in, in the last year election where he won a massive majority and now he's been ousted by well uh, I, I agree with him so with a kangaroo court well I mean how, how is it a kangaroo court Explain well, to me why this is a kangaroo court. I mean, we, we, he's got eyes on what the Privileges Committee is going to report next week. We haven't yet had eyes on that. It doesn't have the power to remove anybody. That would go to a vote in the House of Commons where there is a Conservative majority. There's also a Conservative majority on that Privileges Committee. So, so just, I mean, which is the kangaroo court in this? Well, for the kangaroo court, is Harriet Army pronounced his guilt before, before, it even, before the, the committee had even met to, to hear the, any, any evidence whatsoever. Okay. Stay on the line. Yeah, no, stay, I'm, not, I'm not saying about it. Just stay on the line because John Burley's going to agree with me. John, John, Kevin, Kevin, John. Uh, Hi, Kevin. John. So, so, John, you also um, did vote for Brexit, as Kevin did, um, but you have different feelings about Boris Johnson, is that right? In 600 yes, feet. Um, indeed. Use the right lane um, to continue straight on a three ring road the east towards the city. The best ally. Continue straight on a Most three ring road east towards the city. The silent majority want to remain in the UK. But Westminster is making it difficult to do so. And one of the reasons was Boris Johnson. And if he had got in a second time, and he nearly did after Liz Trust resigned. That would have been it. Um, Scotland would have got its independence just out of the fact that he was back in charge. Because I, I believe he's like a king with no clothes on, or Humpty Dumpty. He, he was. He, he, he did hang himself by his own petard. Um, he had no integrity, um, total disrespect for the three other nations. And if I can just say that, Sunita, um, I believe in what's called a wise move. Wales, Ireland, Scotland, England. And at the moment, um, what's her name? Eldred Morgan, she said it quite rightly. The present system serves Wales, Ireland and Scotland badly. It also serves England badly. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a united British Isles? That's what I would love to see, a united British Isles. And I hope the government now wakes up and even in three quarters of a mile. Majority. Keep now, right, I mean, two one. New both Kent sides Road. of Ireland, north and south. It would be wonderful if Ireland came out of Europe and uh, joined with the north, and then we had four, uh, a federal system mm. that combined, you know, Okay. Uh, on the issue, I mean, on the issue of Boris Johnson, I just want to just throw back to, to Kevin Foster, and maybe you know, Kevin, yeah, you, you, you can speak to John about this because John is saying that uh, Boris Johnson going is, is good for the union. That Boris Johnson staying puts the greatest stress on the union, 